the agency niche that I'm about to teach you can easily make you six figures per month with only a few clients. And the best part is it's super simple to get into and it's one of the fastest growing industries in 2023. This time, I'm going to be teaming up with my business partner, Isaac Rubel, and we're going to be revealing everything. Now you're probably thinking, Joel, are you gonna show me how to get clients? Yes, we're gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to run ads in this exact niche to start landing high paying clients. And then once you have those clients, how do you get them great results? Well, good news for you, we're gonna be sharing the entire service delivery fulfillment system so that you can literally take it plug and play and have a proven niche ready to go. And of course, you know we're on a mission to destroy all of the gurus on the internet by giving everything away for free. So yes, we are going to over deliver for you. We're going to show you the irresistible offer that closes like crazy in this exact niche. We're going to show you exactly how to monetize in this niche so that you can scale with less clients. We're going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on both the B2B and B2C ads. And by the end, I guarantee that you'll have everything that you need to know to get started in this niche, even if you're starting out as a complete beginner. And the craziest part is one of our top students scaled in this niche to over $250,000 per month and then got acquired. So what actually is it? I know you're dying to find out. So with that in mind, let's pass it off to Isaac Rubel. He's going to be taking over my channel for today. That being said, let's dive in. So the industry that I'm talking about is solar and more specifically in-person solar sales businesses. What do I mean by this? You do not want to run ads for virtual solar sales companies, ones that are trying to close solar deals over the phone. These are money pits for both them and you. They're very, very hard to get results for. You want to close solar businesses that close their deals in person. Whether or not they do the installation or they pass the installation off to another company does not particularly matter. But the secret to this and the secret to getting massive scale with this and getting massive scale out of just a few clients is closing ones that close in person. Anything else is, is unacceptable. This is one of the few industries in the world where you still want the closing to be going on in person. Anywhere else, I'd be like, yeah, close virtual, close over the phone. This one must be done in person. So this is the secret to growing a large solar agency. Global warming. I know nothing about it. I know nothing about solar panels. I don't know what a solar cell is. I don't know what a battery is. I don't know what any of this stuff is. To be honest, I think half of it is make-believe. I barely believe in solar power in and of itself. Now you may be thinking, Isaac, does that mean you don't believe solar energy is the future? I don't believe in solar energy at all. I think uh, electricity comes from lightning, it hits the ground, and it goes into all of our houses. That, that's my the extent of my knowledge with electricity and solar power. But what matters is people in the United States think this is the future. That's what matters. People in the United States and the United States government has all these programs for people to go solar. That's all that matters for you and your wallet. So you need to tap into an industry like solar, which is going to become massive in 2023 and beyond. The biggest solar companies have yet not been formed. <laughs> Like the, the, the solar companies that form now and over the next few years are going to be the biggest ones we've ever seen. So there's a lot of money lying around because unlike me, other people actually know what solar is, understand it and want to buy it. So make sure you tap into it. This is the most important slide in the uh, presentation. I consume an ungodly amount of hummus and I really mean an ungodly amount of hummus and I need more money to buy this hummus. So please subscribe to me. The more people that subscribe to me, the more videos I produce and the more money YouTube pays me. Now you may be thinking, Isaac, YouTube probably doesn't pay you that much. You only have a few thousand subscribers. Very true. That's why I only eat a little bit of hummus right now, but I'm trying to expand the amount of hummus that I eat on a daily basis. So it's very, very important that you click right now and subscribe. If you're still watching this and you don't give a fuck about me eating hummus, get off my video. To be honest, just, just get off. Uh, if you don't want me eating hummus, I don't want you watching my video. It's as simple as that. So subscribe so I can get more fucking hummus, please. Pros of the solar niche. Number one, you can get very low lead cost using the methods that I show you. Most other people are paying a lot per lead. That doesn't have to be you. You don't have to pay a ton of money per lead, but other people do. High close rate, only if you work with hybrid solar companies. Again, do not work with solar companies that close virtual. This is where most people mess up. You want to work with solar companies that close in person. Number three, tick 
TikTok ads crush for them. The ads I'm going to be giving you guys that are that I filmed for TikTok for this niche are wild. The results they got me are better than the results people have gotten in solar for the last five years. And I'm giving them all to you in a swipe file. All of them. Every single one I ever filmed for this industry. Number four, Facebook and TikTok and Google and YouTube all work for B2B. It's one of those rare niches that every single platform works for B2B. You can run just about anything and get uh, solar reps and solar businesses on the phone with you. Number five, one deal makes them a ton of money. This is the good thing about solar. It's a very high ticket. This isn't a chiropractor. This isn't an ice cream shop. I know some of you are in the ice cream niche and you're selling $2 a cone. Um, this niche, there's actually money in it. So your cl it's very easy to get your clients an ROI on your retainer and your ad spend. Number six, and this is where you can have just one or two or three clients and make a ton money most solar businesses suck at marketing they don't know how to do lead gen they don't know how to do follow-up they barely know how to do the sales and actually get the in-person meeting set up with their sales rep so you can step in and be their cmo i've met a lot of marketers who have moved into a cmo position at these solar companies and now they make a tremendous amount of money because they're taking a percent of every deal they get paid on performance and this is one of the very few niches where you can do that and over the next five years you can set yourself up with these solar companies and make a lot of money with just a couple clients so cons of the solar niche your b2c ads have to be better than other people's which is good because you're on my video. So I'm gonna teach you how to make B2C ads that are better than other people's. If I didn't know how to do that, I wouldn't have this blue light. Do you see this blue light? That means I know how to do this shit. I wouldn't have bought this blue light if I didn't know how to run ads. Number two, you need to coast clients on high ad spend and you can't suck at sales. You can't charge these guys 500 ad spends. The leads won't get them enough. You need to get them a lot of leads and the leads are more expensive than other niches. So you need to charge them a lot of ad spend. I'll show you how to price yourself here in a second. Number three, you need a call center for lazy clients. If you really want to retain a lot, and especially if you want to be brought in as a, in a CMO position and really help scale out a solar company, uh, you need to build out a call center for them, which I'll give you the tools to do. Overview of some important points. Only sell to clients with big radiuses and that can go statewide. Either one, big radius or statewide. If they want their grandmother's house and five miles around it is the radius, that will not work. It's very rough to run ads for those ones. The lead cost is tremendous. I would make exceptions for ones with massive budgets. If they have massive budgets, I'll allow some tomfoolery. Number two, never sell in Texas. I won't get into the, re the complex reasons, but basically there's a ton of different utility providers and most of the leads that you generate in Texas won't actually be qualified for solar. So you end up wasting a ton of money and it's very hard to retain clients in this niche in Texas. All clients must be kept on the same pixel. This is basic marketing 101 at this point if you're following my channel. If, if you have an agency, they're all in the same niche, keep them all on the same pixel easy number four survey lander over lead forms lucky for you i'm going to give you my survey lander so you don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about it you don't have to go out you don't have to build a survey lander i built it for you i'm going to give it to you number five make sure you qualify the leads on the survey you can't send them 400 credit score people looking for solar these are homeless people you're sending them you're sending them people in boxes wanting a solar panel on top of their box out on the street you can't send them that you got to send them the 650 plus the 700 plus credit score otherwise you're just going to waste their time and they're going to hate you and they definitely won't bring you on as their cmo that's for sure how should you price your services 1500 retainer plus three to four thousand ad spend is a solid offer Again, I teach this in other niches. You can discount uh, if you, they sign a contract for three months or if they close paying full up front for like three months. Discount off the retainer, that is. You want to keep that spend three to 4000 The more, the better. I would encourage them, as soon as they're getting results, move the spend up. Like it's a competitive niche. There's a bunch of other solar companies and they make a lot of money per deal. So they can't be stingy with spend and you can't set poor expectations of, oh, you just need 500 spend and we're going to grow you the biggest solar company on the planet. It's not going to work. I already kind of covered this, but I'll go over it again. All solar companies growing right now are in massive need of CMOs. And you can make a lot of money taking a percentage of deals on solar. Your goal in this niche should be to close a few clients, learn the marketing systems, build out the best high level sequences you can, really dial it in with what I'm giving you in this video, and then move into a CMO position. Find a solar company that is in drastic need of 
in-house marketing and cut a really good deal with them that's gonna make you a lot of money. This is how you end up with just a couple clients that make you a lot of money in this niche. So the long-term play here, long-term meaning six months and beyond, is you need to move into a CMO position for these solar companies. You don't wanna just you know, be landing clients. I mean, you can, you can grow a decent size uh, solar business just landing clients. Other people do it. It works in all other niches, but there's a unique opportunity here that you should take advantage of. Best offer for B2B, it's actually really simple. So I'm gonna cover the offers that you should run for B2B, client acquisition, running ads, cold calling, blah, blah, blah. It's really simple. Guaranteed leads or guaranteed appointments. That's it. And I will show you some of the offers here shortly of examples. Here are some ads. I pulled, just pulled these off of the ads library. These are some good B2B ads. So you can look at these, use them as a template, mimic it. Uh, these are some, what I would consider some very good B2B ads that are gonna work very, very well for you. Pull these into Canva, pay someone on Fiverr to recreate them for you, recreate them for your offer, create a similar offer. Now also on some of these, you will see pay per lead. How do you sell paper lead with a retainer? How do you sell paper lead and make it fit the standard agency model? I'm gonna teach you guys a secret. Advertising paper lead on the front end of ads will get you very cheap appointments. When you get these people on the phone, you can tell them you only sell lead packages. It basically evens out to you're just doing a lead guarantee. It says paper lead on the ads and it technically is paper lead, but they have to buy you know minimum 20 leads. So you, you end up selling them on lead packages, which is the exact same thing as the standard retainer plus ad spend model. I would also uh, offer a call center for scheduling your solo client's appointments. Some of these guys are going to suck. Some of them will not call the leads. This is every niche. Use call tools, put some Filipino VAs on it with very good English, and you're going to be set up extremely, extremely well. Sales resources. The first one, this first pitch deck is for roofing, uh, second as well, but just convert them. I use the same pitch decks for every single industry. I just convert them off of some of the old roofing ones. Use the same pitch decks and just convert them uh, to solar. It's not difficult. You just got to put the offer and change some imagery around on there. Best platforms for B2B. Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and Google. This is one of the very rare niches where all of the platforms work. Although your first 50,000 spend for B2B should really be Facebook and TikTok. That's where most of your results are going to come from. And it's what I'm going to teach you on this lesson. KPI for B2B meeting cost. Below 200 is okay. Below 150 is good. Below 100 is excellent. And if you can get below 70 or below $50, that's really where you want to be. If you're not in that like 50 to $70 range for meeting cost and solar, you really need to reevaluate how good your creatives are and look at rewriting them or creating new imagery or videos. Targeting for B2B. I'm going to give you guys my exact targeting. I want you to go out there and destroy everyone else. So I'm going to give you my exact targeting for solar B2B. It's divided into to two categories, below 20 mil reach and above 20 mil reach. Here they are, below 20 mil interest. Basically, when you're building out the ads, go in here. And under the this section, detailed targeting, make sure you select all of the interest that I have shared here. So this is one ad set, you're below 20 mil interest. Your other ad set is going to be all of these, so all of these below 20 mil, plus a few extra. So basically you have a more narrow targeting and you have a much broader targeting. The reason for this is very simple. You want to give Facebook some variation for their algorithm to find winners, to find the people that are going to convert for the ad. Doing it like this is the best way I have found in all of my B2B campaigns to do it. So have a more narrow audience and then have a more expanded, more broad audience. Ad set structure. Dynamic ads, five images, three body copy, three headlines minimum spend of $50 per day, although I recommend more like 100 to start. Here's how you turn on dynamic ads. It's at the ad set level. You go up here, hit dynamic creative on, continue, and then at the ad level, you will select images, and you're gonna do five images, then do three primary text, three body copy, and then three headlines. What you guys can do in a good example of someone to follow is Prospect Bacon. You can look them up in the Facebook ads library. They have some very good ads. You can mimic them uh, very closely. 
can learn from what they're doing. You can also just search solar in the Facebook ads library and find some very, very good ones. Um, but take inspiration from what else is out there and make it your own. And also, this is a huge thing that I'm giving you guys right here. Videos work amazing in solar. If you can film videos for your B2B ads, you are going to get very good results. So you gotta get good on camera a little bit, you gotta buy a mic, but it's gonna help you out. Because uh, in the long term, you can outcompete people just by having cool video creatives. Start each ad set at $100 per day. This can be decreased in the future once you know your lead cost. So you don't have to spend $100 per day forever, but or $200 per day. I would start it there. That way you can find which one's a winner and then you can narrow down to that one. If you start with too few ad spend, you end up in a bad position because you're gonna just waste money in a bunch of different directions and never really know what's performing because you spent inadequately, which you don't wanna do. If you're enjoying this video with Isaac Rubel, I just wanna take a moment to pause and remind you guys that Isaac Rubel is one of the lead coaches inside of our Agency Lab coaching program. If you've ever wanted to work with Isaac one-on-one -on -one and get direct access to him on a call where he can review either your client's ads or your ads or literally show you anything that you need help with around ads, then just a friendly reminder, you can always go to the link somewhere below this video to book a call to speak with our team about our program. Again, he's one of the lead coaches inside of our program. So if you've ever wanted to get access to Isaac, this is your chance. Right here, I give you guys my funnel that I've used for a ton of B2B campaigns. You'll see it in this snapshot. So definitely utilize that. It's very, very effective. It's basically a calendar embedded at the very top of the page, followed by social proof and buttons that lead them back up to the calendar. Now, if you don't have the social proof and buttons, you don't have to, you can just have the calendar. The page actually converts a little bit better without the social proof I found, which is very interesting. So that I got that snapshot for you guys. I also have this page. If you're good on camera, you can mimic this. These type of pages have been working really well for B2B as of recent. I call them short VSLs. So strong headline, VSL, scheduler. That's all you need. Now Prospect Bacon, they're big, company, they have social proof, blah, 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 does not matter. You don't need the social proof. I'm running in a niche right now where I have no social proof. Guess what? It's just headline, three minute video, and then calendar, and it's crushing. I'm getting meetings in the teens. So it's, it's ridiculous what you can do without even needing social proof. Never use the excuse of needing social proof for your B2B ads to work. It's almost never that. It's the strength of your creatives. It's the strength of your lander. And it's how clear your body copy and your offer are. If you're getting bad results, it's not your lack of social proof. I want to show you guys an updated TikTok targeting for B2B and B2C. So some, as some of you might know, TikTok actually recently changed how it allows you to target. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to actually set up proper targeting on TikTok. And this is for both B2B and B2C. So let's do custom mode. We're gonna do website conversions. If you're doing B2B, you can do lead forms. Lead forms work pretty damn good for B2B on TikTok, but you can also do website conversions and drive it to one of those pages that I shared with you on the last slide. Test. So we'll do Isaac, whatever, select placement. By the way, you guys can check out the TikTok video on my channel if you wanna know how to install the TikTok pixel. I'm not gonna show that for the 50th time. Placement, remove Pangle. Pangle is evil. Uh, it was made by Satan. They had a brand deal with Satan. Um, don't use that. Uh, targeting, you don't need any of this. United States, that's fine. Languages, English, gender, all, uh, age, you're probably gonna do 25 plus for solar. <clears throat> you could technically do 18 to 24 if you're doing B2C, but probably not for this niche because they're not homeowners. Interesting behaviors. This is where you add your targeting. I call it the triple targeting. It's open, interest, and video interactions. Those are the three I launch with. So what that means is one of your ad sets will have nothing selected here. You're just gonna skip this part. You're just doing very broad gender and uh, age targeting. Then your next ad set, you're gonna duplicate that. You're gonna select everything under interest. So see how I have interest selected here on the left? Check all of these boxes. That's one ad set. Next ad set, video interactions. 
select all of these. So those are your three ad sets, interested video interactions. If you're gonna do a fourth, you can do either do creator interactions or purchase intention. If you have the budget, you can test all of them. Separate ad sets, again, selecting every single box underneath the category. Every time I go into someone's TikTok account, it looks like a poorly butchered cow with some of the targeting I see in there. They're like selecting specific ones, it's terrible. It gives me uh, chest pains in, in, in my uh, heart area. So it's actually dangerous for me to look at poorly laid out TikTok accounts. But that is the way to do it properly. It's gonna get you insanely low lead cost, assuming your creative is decent. I destroyed everybody else in this niche using the targeting I just showed you, plus my video creatives. So let's go back over here. That's the targeting for TikTok ads, B2B and B2C. At the ad level, you just gotta upload a good video. TikTok ads, uh, B2B swipe file. I included this here. If you wanna see some good B2B ads that I've ran on TikTok very successfully, you can click this and download them. They are very good examples. Um, feel free to rip my scripts, copy them almost word for word. I don't care. I've already moved on and filmed you know, more and better creative. So do whatever you gotta do there. Other things you can run for B2B, voicemail drops, text blast. These also work for B2B and solar. I have whole other videos on these things. We don't need to go over them here, but voicemail drops and text blast will work for you for B2B and solar. You just need a good scraped list. Uh, best platform for B2C, Facebook and TikTok. If the client's area is large enough to where they can do TikTok effectively, you want to do TikTok. It'll get you better cost generally than Facebook and that they, they are about the same quality. So it's not this massive difference between the two. Uh, lead cost for B2C. Now keep in mind, these are qualified lead costs. These are like 700 plus credit score filtering out all the bullshit leads, lead cost. So they're, if you see somebody posting, oh, I'm getting $5 leads in solar. Usually they're running some lead forms. They're not filtering the clients angry at them. These people are, are, uh, retarded. So, um, don't, look at them as examples. These are the lead costs for properly filtered leads. Below 80 is okay, below 50 is good, below 25 is excellent. Now, this varies heavily from state to state. If you're doing North Carolina or South Carolina, you're gonna get $15 leads, awesome. If you're doing Texas, Massachusetts, it's gonna be more in like the $80 range. It's how it is. Uh, this niche is more competitive in some states than others, so you just have to realize that and deal with it. Facebook ads swipe file for solar. This is all of the solar ads I've ran. I split tested aggressively and found these ones to be effective. So feel free to come in here, uh, modify them and use them for your own purposes. You can see I put some images down here as well. Now you wanna vary up the images. Some of it in solar, the images get burnt out fairly quickly. So you wanna, that's where the variation comes in. Use AI, build some really cool images. That's how you're gonna get extra, that extra boost to your performance on Facebook. But what I have in here is an excellent start that's gonna get you way better ads than pretty much everybody else that's gonna be running in that area. Here's an example of the landing page in solar for B2C. This is a survey lander, this is built in type form. So if you want to build something that looks very similar to this, you will have to use type form. If you want to build a really ugly looking version of this, you can use high level. Single family home, uh, what company are you with, utility, shingles. Now I have filters set up in here and you can set up filters in type form to remove people. Like let's say they have a low monthly electricity bill. It'll disqualify them. Let's say they make under 60 K per year. Uh, let's say they're not the homeowner. All of these things disqualify them. That's what I mean when I say you got to get them qualified leads. Uh, let's say they say they have below 600 credit score. All of these questions on type form have logic set up to disqualify them. You don't want to send your solar clients bad leads. They will get rid of you like yesterday's trash. You'll, they'll pay you a retainer. You'll be there for one month and you'll be gone. Uh, they don't want bad unfiltered leads. They don't want lead form leads. They want filtered leads. This is how you set yourself apart from everybody else. You don't just send them, you know, crappy leads. As far as Facebook ads, uh, the setup for B2C solar is very simple. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to have one ad set with the targeting for B2B that I showed previous in this presentation. So you're gonna have one ad set that has the below 20 mil plus above 
20 mil for your targeting. You're gonna duplicate that and then your other ad set is gonna be open. So let's say the client, and I like to do like $50 per day to start on here. And let's say the client's in Ohio. So both your ad sets will be Ohio. And what you're gonna do is you'll come through and you'll delete all of these. So the method with solar B2C is to have one ad set that is a big conglomerated interest ad set the other ad set is going to be open targeting. So that's the main differentiator between how you target the ad set level on solar. Set the language to English only. Placements, just do news feeds. You can test just stories as well, but generally I like to do just Facebook and Instagram news feed. If you're doing video, if you're doing vertical video, like some of the ones I'm about to show you here soon, you can add in Instagram and Facebook story, test them out, see how they work. So that that's really all you have to do at the ad set level. And then of course, at the ad level, uh, you're going to link them to the survey that I just showed you, and you're going to use the ads in the swipe file to build out the ads. So that's B to C. Let those run. You don't have to keep your client at $100 per day. Uh, see which ad set performs best and then turn off the loser. 48 hours is the most you need there to make that determination. You don't need longer than that. TikTok ads for solar. I shouldn't even be sharing this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever shared. This is every single video creative I ever filmed for solar all in one Google Drive. It's all here. All of it. You can run these on TikTok. You can run these on Facebook. They crush on both. You're going to have to film them yourself or have an actor film them or uh, have your grandma film them. I haven't tested grandmas on ads, but I assume it performs really well. This drive is your guys to reference and write ads off of. It's crazy. I'm sharing this, but it's, it's really good for you guys. And I know you're going to go out and you utilize it and, and just crush it with it. So these are B2C ads that can be used on both TikTok and Facebook. So finally, this is a generic high level campaign. I believe this one is roofing. All you have to do is go in and change the words to make it work for solar. Um, I, when I ran solar stuff, I really didn't do anything crazy on high level. The, speed to call is going to be your biggest determiner of success in this niche. How fast can you call the leads? How fast can your client call the leads? Or if you're using call tools and you have a VA on it, how fast can they reach them? High level campaign, yeah, it'll make it an extra 15% maybe. Oh, I also linked some solar specific reactivations. What these are for is getting your clients quick wins. Most of these solar companies have a database of leads that are cold, old, dying, or dead. What you can do is you can take their lead list, put it in high level, and use some of the reactivations I have in that snapshot in order to get them deals out of their existing lead list. I also like to do one reactivation per month with the leads that I generate. So let's say I generate a solar company 100 leads. I will use one of these reactivation campaigns to make a final push at the end of the month prior to them renewing services with me. What this does is usually they're gonna pull a deal or two out of it. So then when I come to ask for money for month two, they're like, hey, this guy just got us a deal. He did a reactivation campaign. In addition to the deals he generated throughout the month, this is, you know, this makes a lot of sense. So let's move forward. So the reactivation campaigns are very powerful. So guys, that's everything. Uh, that's the updated targeting for TikTok. That's the updated targeting for B2C and B2B on TikTok. How to do B2B ads for uh, solar on Facebook. How to do B2C ads for solar on Facebook. I gave you guys the juiciest swipe files that have ever been released. All I ask is that you subscribe so that YouTube can pay me my hummus money. As I was uh, making one of these videos again, guys, I'm going to be producing one per week, hopefully from now on. Uh, get back on a regular filming schedule. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys love that video. Just as a friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel or to Isaac's YouTube channel, what are you guys waiting for? The information is insane. and We literally give everything away for free. So if you haven't done it, it would really mean a lot if you could like this video, drop a comment below, and make sure to subscribe to both my channel and Isaac's channel. That in mind, we'll see you on the next video.